So we are here at the booth of uh, De Jong, and next to me is CEO uh, Ari. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And I'm very happy that you have time for us, because this is the most holy place in all of these halls. Uh, you have the best tank, best show tank, and a lot of people are asking, how is this tank possible? And the first thing I recognized when I came into the hall is it's bigger. Two years ago it was fabulous, but every uh, every time on this interview it's getting bigger. Yeah, every time it's getting a little bit bigger. The challenge I want to I I, I love challenges. So uh, this is a, just a challenge. What uh, how I make this tank and uh, I, what I did is uh, I uh, made it of course uh, at home in our facilities and. Uh, it's two months ago I started it and it, uh, it's not that I make the tank, it's, I make it in my head. So I know exactly what kind of reef I'm going to build. Then uh, we make the tank, we make the tank ourselves, it's wood and glass. And then I make uh, at home the construction with this live rock and the real reef rock okay. inside. And, um, and then I put a few corals and let it there for two months. And then uh, when we come here, I just take corals from my facility in, uh, in the Netherlands and uh, I build the, con the, the reef back as what I have in my head and then start putting the corals. So I send vents over to my facility in Holland and they bring the corals by vents in boxes and I decorate it. It's just two days work. Okay, and then you make photos? Uh, how no, you no, it's in my head. Everything, exactly. is in your Everything is okay. in head. This is experience from diving. I was diving a lot, yeah. and these are things you never forget. So it's yeah. all pieces of parts from diving and seeing a reef. And, and if you start thinking of, okay, I'm going to make a tank at the Interzoo Trade Show, what I'm going to do? I want two meters by two meter twenty by one meter high, and uh, the, 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 the scaping, what I'm going to do is like this. And this is in my head, and I, I, the, the rocks it was one hour work. Because it, I, I knew exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Good job. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. I am a little bit speechless. People, <laughs> most of the pe people they really, really don't know what they are seeing when they see this. But it's, it's another thing is that it, 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 it was my work 30, 40 years ago. It was my work what I love to do: yeah. decorating aquariums, scraping aquariums. It's very nice to do. Uh, but now I'm the director and sitting in my office and uh, reading contracts and uh, signing contracts and making orders or quotes or whatever. And this, when I go to Interzoo, there is one week in the two years I can do what I love the most, escaping an aquarium. And, and that's, that's the right. result, yeah. And that's, you can see the result. <laughs> and how much liter is this? The aquarium is uh, 4,400 liters. And the total system, because there is another tank and there is a sump and there is a filtration, it's together 9,000 liters. Wow. So it's a lot of work to bring everything in water and rocks and to here and... Uh, okay, is there a sump under The sump it, is under that one. And this one is connected with this tank. Ah, okay. So, and that's the filtration. And this filtration, what we sell, that's why it's open, that people can see what it... Uh, ah, okay. But to escape an aquarium like this, it's nice to have a filtration that like that, but you can use, in fact, every filtration. It's more the... the, 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 the it's like an artist when you make this. It's like painting. Yeah. And, uh, the, the, when a painter starts making a painting, he knows already up front what he's going to make. And that is what I did. Do you have numbers for us? How many corals are inside this tank and fishes? There is uh, 400, not exactly, but I thought 425 uh, fish in the tanks. And really? And the, yeah, there's a lot of antias in there. <laughs> and there is. Um, uh, I don't corals, want to know the number about the corals. No, but the corals, it's. In, it's uh, I started to <laughs> count the acanthus trias, and uh, I came to 100, only from one coral. So I think Whoa. it's only this type of coral. So I think altogether it's maybe a thousand corals or I don't know exactly. Okay. I just take from my facility what I need to scape this. Mm -hmm. So you said you need one hour to put all the rocks inside? The rocks. And then just, just one hour? But how much time do you need for the corals? For the corals I did in the first day I did 90%. The first okay. day. So on Sunday I put the corals. On Monday I put, the, oh no, on Sunday I put the stones, on, on Monday I put the corals, and then I used the other two days to just finalize small pieces and bits, to, to, to put a coral like that, two centimeters there or there, there and, and that's 
something like one hour work a day or two hours, it depends on when I see something. Now I have seen already a few things, but it's not nice, so tomorrow it's a little bit different. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the way it goes and that's what I have done. So the biggest piece in this tank is this roof? Uh, yeah, that, that is, that is, a, that is a, a, a big real reef rock and I've, I've fixed them together. And then I made uh, a mole from epoxy on the top. Mm -hmm. And um, so the two rocks fit exactly into each other. And I glue the Acropora on the top and the Tubestrias I glue under the, the rock. And so the, the, the plate where the Acropora is on, because it's like a mole, it fits exactly on the top. So it's like a sandwich. Mm -hmm. So it's two rocks as a sandwich. And then it's like a natural bridge you see in the... It's so great. Uh, what is your your favorite spot in this tank? Is it, I think is it where we are is standing, yeah. The, yeah. Because this, this this makes with the Gorgonias and the and the exact uh, uh, places. Uh, yeah, it's it's a so natural look when I, you look in yeah, through this hole. Very natural, and here do I feed also? So the fish go all on the dam. I can, if you want, I can feed them. Yeah, then, please. Uh, yes, I take the food. Yeah. So we have the Lani lights from Triton over the tank. Let me count, uh, 16. Not bad. <laughs> and the pumps are from Maxpect. The Jai pump. And also, I don't know what what, what pump what pump is this? That's an Aquamedic. Uh, Aquamedic. Pump, ah, okay. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, which yeah. gives the. The wave. Yeah, yeah. It's not a pump that's the, constantly the running, but it gives the pulse. You yeah. see then that the water is like a wave. Okay. Uh, they take the food, so uh, it's only one minute, and then uh, okay. because it's a nice shot, I think, when you see the fish uh, feeding. I hope the camera's ready for this. And it's the first time you use Lani LEDs, or? This is Triton. Yeah, it's, it's Triton, but the, the, oh, the, the model Lani, is called oh, Lani. Oh, yeah, 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 the model is Lani. Oh, this is... Uh, uh, no, we use it more times, but this is just because I... When I started the tank and it was two meter by two meter, I said, okay, I need so many plates, and who is the first one who can give it to me? And uh, I asked a guy from Tri Triton, and he said, yeah, I have it, so okay, bring it to me. And, uh, ah, okay. It's just... Uh, but I can make the tank... Uh, with other lights also. Yeah, so, sure. Uh, okay, let the show go on. What, what is it? This is uh, some um, atamia. Okay. Frozen atamia, which uh, I brought from uh, Holland to feed the fish a few times a day because that's very necessary to feed a lot of times because there is antias in, which this is a fish species that you have to feed three, four times a day at least. Mm -hmm. God. <laughs> what did he say? 400? 25? About 425. <laughs> so, you have also some special fish inside the tank? Yeah, there is a few tank. We have, yeah, we have a few very special fish inside. There is an angel fish, which I have never seen before. I believe it's a hybrid. It's, uh, it's what they call in English a lemon peel or Centropis flavissima. But it's so different that um, it has all blue spots all over his body. Here is a Acanturus nigrorus. I have never seen this color form. It's, it's different as uh, all the other ones I have seen. So of course, Centropesia interrupta is not something what you see uh, a lot of times. In fact, all the fish is not that many. Pseudantias aurulentris there, not many, because it's a quite an expensive fish. It's, a, it's coming mm. from deep water. So that is a very rare fish here in the top. Cyrilabris johnstoni. 
because it's coming from Kwajalein uh, Islands in uh, by the Marshall Islands. So it's so far away; it's almost impossible to bring it to Europe. Uh, well, a lot of them are very rare for special fish. In but fact, all of them, even the even the clownfish, is a chrysogaster. It's very rare. Okay. But you have also some special small tanks. Yeah, there we have very special fish. In very there. special fish. Yeah. Or special or or tank bread. But not and for my pocket. <laughs> well, maybe there is for uh, for your pocket, but there is some fish that uh, that's tank bread and it's new. Some angel fish that's new tank bread, like a gold flake. Apolomichthys santo pentatus is their tank bread. Uh, what do you mean with tank? Tank bread. It's tank raised. It's it's bread fish. Ah, aquaculture. It's not from the wild. Aquaculture. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Aquaculture. Yeah. Okay. Aquaculture. <laughs> you can call it aquaculture. But yeah, that is of course uh, something new. That angel fish will now be bred. I mm. mean, if, if if for example a, a Traumkaiser uh, is yeah. tank bred, you do not need to take it anymore from the wild if it's not necessary because yeah, they sure. can bred as many as they want. So. Maybe we can go over? Yes, we can go over there. <coughs> so this time we can see something. I, re I remember two years ago you had this bigger tank in a wall yes. and it was very dark. That was a, the, there was a peppermint angel yeah. in a paracentropisi boili. And uh, that is better to keep quiet because it's a very sh shy fish. Uh, the fish here is not so shy or is tank bread or mm -hmm. aquaculture, so as you call it. Um, here you see uh, Genia cantus personatus. It's, uh, it's bred in Hawaii by Karen Britton. And that's Holocantus clarionensis. It's bred in Bali, in a fish farm in Bali. The same for the fish under there. It's Apolomictis santa punctatus and Holocantus passer. Uh, both angel fishes tank bread in uh, in Bali. This is some special uh, clownfish, just uh, gold nuggets. They call it the gold nugget premnas. Centropisia flavissima or lemon peel, tank bread in uh, Bali. And this is our named fish. It's named after uh, after me when I discovered quite some fish and then in the end they call this fish Very Grama beautiful. de Yongi. Okay. So it's a Grama de Yongi, so it's special for us anyway because it's named after our, after me or after our family. So uh, that's why we put them all here. And uh, So as far as I know, this is your most expensive fish? This is the most expensive fish, yes. It's around 30,000 or...? Around uh, a good Mercedes. A <laughs> good Mercedes. <laughs> a good is there one. a bad Mercedes? No, <laughs> <laughs> no there is, they, they are all good, but I mean, a, not the small one, but the bigger one. <laughs> no. uh, it's very difficult to say because we are a wholesale and we cannot say what the price is where they will sold for. And uh, but you, you must think about 30,000 or 50,000 euros for a pair. Okay. 30, Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. You want it? I can pack it if you want. No, I don't say no because uh, this could be a vocal contract. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it is a good thing to breed these fish fishes. And what do you think? Will there be in the future a point where we can say there are no white catches? And do you think this will come? I don't think so, because there is some fish which is sold so little that uh, it's not worth to start uh, breeding it. For example, butterfly fish is, is not a very common fish. Maybe in the United States, but in Europe there's no butterfly fish. So if we have a butterfly, a fish from a family from the butterflies, Getadon, Auriga or whatever, we, we sell only a few in a month. Mm -hmm. and there is no breeder that start breeding yeah, fish sure. for there is no ask, ask for but the fish is that is uh, that what, what, they, what they ask for like centropies and uh, grama and angel fish like that I think there is a, a, a moment that we will have 90% uh, of them will be tank bread uh, right now already if you if you see at our sales and at the young marine life it's um, it's maybe 10% is from the wild, 10% is tank bread, and 90% is from the wild. 
if you look in species. If you look in numbers, it's maybe already 60% is bread and 40% is still from the wild. Because uh, clownfish, like amphibrion, that's 100% tangbread. So, mm -hmm. And that's the most sold fish. Like it's a normal, very easy. And so it's so easy to breed them, I can do it. Yes, it's easy, yeah, it's easy. And, and, and 20, 30 years ago it was very, very complicated and very difficult. Yeah. Now there is only one or two people in the world that can breed angelfish. Okay. But this was the same with the clownfish 30 years ago. So what, what the future will bring... We don't know. We don't know. But I think everybody is investigating in... Uh, yeah, it's, in uh, it's the right way. It's good yes, thing, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think that was all, and thank you very much. You took the time for us, and um, My pleasure. Yeah. thank you for watching. Mehr was live TV, and we we'll see us next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.